Hey everyone, it's Pierre with Overview. We are inspecting an attic space above a garage and I want to show you a few things. In your honest opinion, is this properly insulated with all the gaps? Of course not. How about this portion? What is the outlier here? If you look at all the frost accumulation on the exterior wall, and there's a little bit of suspected microbial growth. Now, above us is a cantilevered floor assembly. Yes, above us is a living space and there's no insulation installed in here whatsoever. Now, what will it happen when you have this condition? This is a perfect recipe for mold condensation to occur. This is a newer property and how could this go unnoticed? Well, it's because the neighborhood's never had anyone properly inspected for them a couple years old and I want to share with you guys something else that we did last week last week we did we had a phone call from a client and they said that they had frost accumulation on the inside of their assembly so inside the master bedroom a whole bunch of frost moisture staining you name it now the builder was in two days prior to us going in and the builder said no concerns you're golden good to go well we went inside the attic space and we observed a significant area with no insulation nothing I could see the back side of the drywall now oddly enough the warranty their one year warranty was approaching I think it was one or two days and had they not have called us to evaluate the attic space for them who would have been left holding the bag now this is a prime example why you need an inspection even on new properties now if you forgo your your possession inspection that's a lot of the case, a lot of times what people decide to do. At the very least, you're gonna to wanna to get your 11 month warranty inspection. Builders require to offer you a one year warranty. And so this is when you call us uh, if you did forgo your initial inspection, okay? Pierre with Overview Property Inspection. We'll see you soon, guys.